What's up guys, Biker Dave here. Uh, this is a key for a Toyota Matrix, but it'll probably be the same for tons of different Toyota models. If your battery is dead in the fob, or you're just not noti you're noticing that it's not opening and locking the doors like they should, or you're having to stand really close to the car for it to, you know, for the unlock to take effect, the battery is probably low or almost dead. Very easy to do. Get you a you know a slim, smallish, flathead screwdriver, and you'll see a little slot, little slot right there. Just pry it open with your screwdriver. Okay. Lay it open. Here comes the guts. The guts of it, the battery is inside here. So you pry that open as well. Okay, and where you pry that open is right there in the bottom, right on the corner right there. You'll pry that open with the same little screwdriver. And that splits apart, and there is your battery. CR2016, I'll put a link in the description where you can get that battery online. Very common little watch battery or key fob battery. I happen to have plenty of them on hand. And you just use your slim screwdriver or some sort of little picking device and just pick out the old battery. It's basically a little, you know, you can use any of these little slots on the corner. You'll see where they go. Just poke you just a tiny little screwdriver and you'll just flip the battery out. The label faces towards you, so remember that. And we'll put our new battery in. You just feed it in there, and it can only go in one way. Oh, look at the lights coming on, too, which was also not working anymore. So this battery was toast in this fob. There you go. And you just push it in place. Make sure it's nice and flush in there. Make sure it looks, you know, it looks like it's in there, just like this. Very simple. And put this lid back on. It can only go on one way. And just push it. It'll click in place when it's where it should be. Now the buttons, obviously, the buttons for the fob are these little guys right here, which will go in this part of the key. So don't try to put it in that way because then it won't do anything. So put your little rubber seal. You know, just match it up with how it should fit. Okay, match this little seal up. It can only fit one way. So just match it up on there. Then set it, you know, where the buttons are facing that way towards the outside of the key. Also notice the shape of this part here. See how it matches that shape right there? So that tells you it can only go in that way. Okay, notice it fits in perfectly. And then just put the other side of the key back in place. You just push it together and it'll click in place when it's right. Like so. And then go to the car and confirm it works. Oh yeah. I was having to stand really close to the car for this to work previously. Perfect, perfect. So that's all there is to it. And we have tons of other videos about this car. This is a 2010 Toyota Matrix, but this key fob will probably be for a million different Corollas and RAV4 and Matrix and other Toyotas from that era. Uh, but check out our other videos. We got stuff about this car and tons of other cars, dirt bikes, ATVs, motorcycles, scooters, Harleys, motocross bikes. And look for our social media links in the description because we have an eBay store and Amazon store where we sell motorcycle related parts and specialty tools that you guys might need. So check that out too. And uh, look for the thumbnail to pop up at the end here that will guide you to more videos about this car. You'll have a great day. We'll see you.